racing mini stall. Today we're going to learn about artist Ingrid Calame and how she would do tracings of tire marks on the Indianapolis Speedway to make artwork like this awesome painting right here. We're going to see how racing and art can go hand in hand. Let's have fun. Here we go. I can't believe they let a puppet drive a race car. <laughs> I don't even have a driver's license. This is hilarious. <laughs> yes, yes, awesome. Yeah. Today we're also going to learn how lines and texture fit in with the artwork, like tire tracks. Those are all different forms of implied texture. What was that, Ed Carpenter? He just passed me. Ah, uh, the Ed Carpenter. Man, he's a good race car driver. Oh, I gotta try to catch that guy. Oh, we're almost to the finish. Oh no! Gotta catch him. Dude, where'd he go? He's gone already. I can't even see him anymore. Man, that guy's fast. Woo! Where'd he go? Where is he? Oh, I think I see him. Oh, there's the finish line. He's almost there. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh well, time to have some fun anyway. <laughs> yeah, oh shoot. Smokey, Smokey. Can't breathe. Oh, there you go. All right, bye. Whoa, look at those tire marks I left. Those are pretty awesome. I've been tracing since 1998 from streets and sidewalks and uh, different locations. When I saw the cars doing the trials, it was so beautiful and loud and uh, colorful and it, it was just the kind of thing that I love to work with. Mr. Stowe would not be happy. Some kindergartner got in here and wrote all over the walls, it looks like. <laughs> not good. He would not be happy. What? What? Oh, this was made by an artist? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Oh. So these are pretty cool. Yeah, so these were done by the artist Ingrid Calame. And these were all tracings from the Indianapolis Speedway. Let's take a closer look. So, these are all tire tracks whoa that was kind of like the ones i did when i peeled out and made a donut yeah oh but man they're kind of weird they're long lines and little shapes yeah mm, lots of colors yeah look at all these colors they're pretty cool yeah oh look at there's purple and red but you can definitely see the tire marks can't you but then there's like little shapes that are made by the tire treads yeah Oh look, oh wow, it looks kind of like a map up close, look at it. Huh, yeah, I, I want to tell you a secret, it, it kind of looks like a kindergarten did do it, but it's really neat. It's a bunch of shapes, yeah. But anyway, so, this is pretty cool though, I like it. It's simple, but very complicated. Very unique, I would say, yeah. Hmm. But that's just between me and you, when you say, yeah. So. Um, I'm wondering, could you guys do something like this? I bet Mr. Stowe's gonna teach you a lesson that'll have you guys do a lesson just like this. That'll be really awesome. I can't just wait to see what you're gonna do. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, look at these little dots. And then there's, wait, there's shapes on top of shapes. Oh my. Oh, look at, look, let's look way back. Wow, look at all this stuff. Look at, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I like going back and forth. That's really neat. Look, it has like a powder around it. I wonder how he did that. It's like smudges. She, I wonder how she did that. Hmm. I think Mr. Stoll would say this was done in the old pouncing technique in the Renaissance where they poke little holes 
yeah, through the tracings, and it makes like the color go through. See those little dots? Yeah. Yeah. So they had like powder in a little bag, and that you would like tap it on the little holes in the paper, and it would go through and make these color lines like this. Yeah, because there's a lot of little dots. I bet that's how they did it. Yeah. Mr. Stoll, that's what he taught me. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, now, let's see what we can look at from far away. Look at all the colors he used. Look at all the colors she chose. So, like, pink and greens. So that's not just your normal colors. They're bright colors. You think we should choose bright colors? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's do that. And um, look how it fills the whole wall. Yeah, I think ours should fill up the whole paper, too. Yeah, don't you think, Mr. Stoke? Yeah. Oh, he's not here. <laughs> oh, I, I, I like your hair. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I should do my hair like that. Mr. Stoll would not like that. This is a really neat exhibit. I think Ingrid Gallimay uses a lot of line and texture and color. All three of the major art elements used successfully in one piece of artwork. It's amazing to see how she can incorporate so many different elements and be a successful artwork. I give this exhibit an A+. Plus. It's awesome. Yeah. Hey, well guys, have fun making some artwork. I came to see way to see yours. All right, see you later. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Let's go. Okay guys, on so the first part of our project, we're just going to cover the whole paper with some pastel colors. We want to cover it fully and press down hard where you're getting lots of pastel. Now I'm just laying out my color right now with the side of pastel, but then I'm going back in right here and making the colors darker, making sure it's thicker. But you want to cover your whole paper with lots of colors. Choose bright colors just like we saw in the Ingrid Calumet. Now we're not drawing anything right now, we're just putting down color, okay, filling our page. This is kind of like how she transferred color to those lines, that's what we're doing. It's a similar technique but different. It's, it's uh, transferring the color from one page to the other, okay? So right now just laying down the color. Remember to press pretty hard but yet cover the whole page. Now you'll have a bunch of texture sheets choose from, uh, from tire treads to dried mud to broken glass or whatever. So you have a new piece of paper taped to your pastel paper on top. It does, uh, it just matters that the blank paper is on top. Then you're going to get pick one of the texture sheets and then you're going to tape it onto the white paper so it won't move. And then you're going to trace that as close as you can now it is a lot of texture it takes a lot of time my hand got very tired tracing all these little shapes and all right so I would only do one at a time so pick one tape it on and keep tracing until you're completely done tracing all the different shapes or you can color in the lines or you can color in the shapes if you want to either way but you want to get all the texture that you see from these different elements, whatever it is, either it's a tire track or broken glass, get all the lines to capture the full texture. Now this is implied texture, you can't actually feel it, but it looks like texture. Okay, so now you can see by me pressing down on the back that the pastel transferred to that paper. I missed a spot right here, and so I'm going back in and filling that in. That's why we taped it to it, in case you did miss a spot. So that, now see, there I got it right there. Now that is completely done. So now I'm gonna take this one off and pick another one and put it in a different spot and then I would tape it to it as well and start again. All right, have fun guys.